lovelies, welcome. Uh, in this episode of Lovely TV, we are going to talk about how you figure out the math for a sweater. And in particular, we're going to figure out for a top-down raglan sweater, which is my favorite. And it is flattering on almost all body types, male, female, small to large. Uh, so what I have here is this is going to be my worksheet. I drew a schematic and I have a space to put in my gauge for stitches per inch, rows per inch, and I made spaces for the measurements that I'm going to need. To begin, before we go into our gauge swatch, what you want to do is go through your closets and drawers and find some kind of top that fits you the way that you want your sweater to fit you. So I found a shirt that fits me in a way that I want a sweater to fit. And this is what I'm going to use for my measurements. Um, we find that it ends up being more accurate to measure a garment you already own and use those measurements rather than to measure your body because oftentimes you want to account for ease and you get a better idea for fit if you measure a finished object rather than yourself. So first things first, we're going to measure our bust or chest. So get out your handy dandy measuring tape and you want to measure from armpit to armpit. So we have about 22 inches. So I'm going to put that on my sheet. That's measurement A. So 22 inches means it's going to be 44 inches around. Okay. And then the next one, I then also want to measure the back of the neck. So like kind of from here to here. If your measurement exceeds eight inches, just make it eight inches. Ours is about, well, I guess if we go from here to here, it's kind of big. So we'll do about seven and a half for the back of our neck. So that's D on my schematic, back of neck, seven inches. Then we also want to measure the depth how far we need to go from the back of the neck to the top of the front is approximately three inches. This is our yoke depth. So on my sheet, that's number letter E, so three inches. Okay, also we need to know how wide our sleeve is from the armpit to the top of our sleeve here we go from the armpit straight across. Notice we do not choose the diagonal line, we're going straight across because as we knit down from the top, these stitches are going to be put on a holder and we need to know how many stitches we want to have for each of our sleeves. And we have, what do we have? Seven and a quarter inches. So seven and a quarter times two is 14 and a half. So 14 and a half inches around for the circumference of the top of our arm. Okay, so now we need to know armpit to cuff. Find our hem. So this is from the armpit to the end of your sleeve, the very bottom of your sleeve. When we try to figure out our sleeve measurements, we will account for uh, what kind of cuff you want. Maybe you want a two inch cuff, a one inch, maybe you want zero inches, but you still need to know the total length of your arm. So that's what we're measuring here. So armpit to edge of our sleeve is, what do we have here? This is 17 inches, so we'll put that down. Armpit to cuff, that's my C here. That is 17 inches. And what else do we need? Cuff width. Okay, so we got the top of our sleeve. 
Now we need to know how big around we want the bottom of our sleeve. Because we're going to go from 14 and a half inches to, and it looks like, we're gonna go down to eight inches because our cuff is about four inches wide here. So we're gonna do eight inches. Cuff width, eight inches. What else do we need? Armpit to the bottom, hem. So that on mine is letter F, armpit to the bottom, hem. zero at our armpit down to the bottom hem. So I've got approximately 15 inches. Now if you notice the bottom of this shirt kind of has a scoop. We'll account for that when we measure the total length of our shirt. So armpit to bottom hem is 15 inches, but you can make this as long as you want. You can adjust. If you want a crop top, you make it shorter. This one just happens to be 15 inches. So now we need to measure the total length. So that's from the bottom, back of the neck, all the way down to the bottom hem. Boy, it's cotton knit. You need a bigger table. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. So we'll start up here. back of the neck, all the way down to bottom hem. I have a total, I get 24 and a half inches for my total length. Somewhere under here is the pen. Here it is. Total length, what we say 24 and a half inches. Okay, so those are the measurements we're gonna go with. So now we can put our shirt away and then we get to decide on what kind of yarn we want to use, uh, what type of fabric we want to have, what color. I would like to make a white cotton cardigan sweater. So I have chosen this particular white cotton yarn. It is Radiance Cotton by Universal Yarns, which is 100% Egyptian cotton. And it is quite lovely to work with. So what I have done is I made a little knitted swatch. I cast on 20 stitches and with a size five knitting needle, I knitted in stockinette. That is a knit a row, purl a row for however wide this is, more than two inches. So now to figure out my gauge, I want to take the needle out. Now really what we should do is wash and block this because the nature of cotton changes a little bit after you wash and block it, but I don't always wash and block it, um, even though I probably should. So we have here this knit check. Uh, we sell these at Lovely Yarns. You can give us a call or email us, lovelyyarns at gmail.com. Uh, or you can shop on our website, lovelyyarns.com forward slash shop, and you can get one. Okay, they are not expensive. This little L-shaped window, this is to help you find your gauge. That is how many stitches and rows you get per inch. I think we might need to bring the camera closer so we can see the individual stitches as we count. Okay, so for our gauge, when we count, you want to line up the left edge next to one of the V's. Each V is a knitted stitch. So we count. This is a two inch wide window. So we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have eleven stitches over two inches. That means our gauge is five and a half stitches per inch. I like to double check and count, check my gauge in a couple spots on my sweater. So we move this up. So we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're still getting 11 at the edge of the thing. Let's move this over. And it's good to 
check in a couple spaces because on your little swatch, uh, your own gauge is probably a little uneven because it's such a small piece of knitting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So we're pretty consistent at 11 stitches over two inches. So we can put in that our gauge is five and a half stitches per inch. Now we need to know how many rows per inch. The rows per inch gauge uh, is comes in handy when we are trying to figure out how many decreases to make in our sleeves. You do need to know how many rows you get per inch for that calculation. So here we go. Again, we're gonna line up with our Vs at the side of a V and at the bottom of a V. And we're gonna count how many rows. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen and a half, it looks like. Let's move over one. Let's just count again to be sure. Line this up. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14 in the very bottom. So it's like seven and a quarter or seven rows per inch. I'm gonna go with seven rows per inch because when the cotton washes in blocks, it's gonna fluff up a little bit. So we'll say seven rows per inch. Okay, wonderful. Now, how do we, how does any of this help us with our casting on? Well, we know the back of our neck here, this is where we're gonna begin our cast on. So we're casting on the back of our neck. We'll have a marker here, a marker here. This is gonna be sleeve stitches, sleeve stitches, marker, marker. I'm making a cardigan, and then we'll have stitches for the front and stitches for the front. If you were doing a pullover, you begin cardigans and pullovers when you're doing top-down raglan in much the same way. The difference would be in a pullover, eventually will you will connect both sides of knitting, so you will go around and around and around. For a cardigan, you do not connect both sides of the ribbing. Instead, you work back and forth in rows, but you must account for the button band down the front, for your opening button band, because you'll have buttons that go down the front and you need to figure out what this measurement is when you are deciding on how you want to shape the front panels of your cardigan. You have two options. You can do a rounded neck or you could do a V-neck. If you do a V-neck, you could do a deep, a deep V or you could do a shallow V. Up to you. You could make it go deep V all the way down to the bottom, or you could do one of those things that goes like straight across, do no V, and then be one of those flappy square things that go straight across. That's a lot of knitting, but it's up to you. You can do however you want. It's your sweater. Okay, so for how many stitches we need to cast on? We do two stitches for each front panel. Uh, we're gonna do one inches worth of stitches for each sleeve. So since I get five and a half stitches per inch, you can't knit half of a stitch. So we're gonna go with six stitches here. And then along the back of the neck, this is supposed to be seven and a half inches. Seven and a half times five and a half is 41 and a quarter. So I could do 41 stitches, or I could make it an even number and just go with 40 stitches and that should be fine. So even numbers are a little easier to work with. So we'll do 40 stitches across the back of our neck, six stitches here, two for each front. So then that means we are gonna get 40 plus 16, we're gonna cast on 56 stitches and we will put a stitch marker at the, to separate our sleeves from the front panels and from our back panels. So you will have one, two, three, four stitch markers in your piece. Okay, we will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and happy stitching.